every day. That's why he soared through it. Responsibility for bringing the dreams of the Prime Minister and all of you to reality. I cannot afford to lose to you. I found a rather perfect location for us to occupy. That is our destination. You are shining brightly as a result of your efforts out there. I'm not beaten yet. I cannot fall until a land of virtue has been built. I must train harder so that I may come back twice as strong. Sima Zhao, son of Sima Yi. I will defeat you and offer your head to the late Prime Minister. Ah, I see. Now I understand why you've been so frenzied in your pursuit. Father, you really did incur a great deal of enmity, didn't you? I really don't want to have to drag this out. If you're going to do it, do it already! <laughs> Say that, brother. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't give up on trying. Never give up on living. Because you still have a greater fate waiting for you. Yes, my brother. Our victory is all but worthless if it has led to even a single scratch on your body. Why, my lord? Why did you have to put yourself in harm's way? I apologize for disappointing you. Master Simashi, I assure you that you have done nothing of the sort. Every time we stand on the battlefield, we run the risk of injury. Don't make such a fuss about it. Besides, by blunting the attack of the forces of Wu and Shu, we have moved one step closer to dominion over the land. I will continue to need your help, though. Of course, my lord. It would be a singular honor. Now come. We must get your wounds attended to.
So this is the price I pay for failing to treat my life with respect? It is far too steep a price for me. No, indeed, it is my brother who has been forced to pay it. Brother, I swear that I will support you until the very end. It is the only honorable thing I can do with this life which you have saved. Despite being injured, Sima Shi emerged victorious at the Battle of Mount Tailong. The Wei army brilliantly held off the Shu forces, but they had little time to celebrate. Sima Shi's injuries were much more severe than initially believed. He took a step back from governing in order to recuperate. During that time, Sima Zhao and Sima Shi's retainers desperately looked to govern the country. However, Sima Shi came back much sooner than expected. There was something that he had to tell his brother and the others as soon as possible. Brother, are you sure you're okay to be up? Don't worry about it. Oh, <laughs> I guess that was a dumb question. That looks pretty good on you. Hmm. Zhao, listen. From here on, there is no going back. We can't rid ourselves of these foolish commoners by just scraping away those close to the Wei Emperor. This coming world is something that we must build ourselves. However, Zhao, the Emperor is the fate of the land. No matter how our heart breaks, no matter how many lives we forsake, sometimes things just won't go our way. Brother. Zhao, I need everything you have to give. Help me to create a world that is governed by the Sima clan. For that, brother, we will gladly aid you. Right, you two? I can't believe how dependable you look. So I guess these wounds that were sustained were not in vain. Let's go. Let us aim for the top. <laughs> <laughs>